Some years later, um, John Burr Williams added some additional colour to the way that we go about valuing a company, and that is to look at all of the cash inflows and outflows, discount them back to the present day, and that gives you an intrinsic value. So as you um, hunt in the market for these particular stocks, you can find those at the, the greatest discount to intrinsic value will tend to underperform, and those at the greatest premium to intrinsic value will tend to, sorry, will tend to underperform. So this, this chart shows if we rank every stock in the universe, and this is a global universe, so 22,000 positions, if we give them all a ranking, price to cash flow, price to book, price to earnings, we take the average of those and then we rank them into five groups. The glamour quintile, which is the most expensive, tends to underperform on average. And the value quintile, which is the cheapest, tends to outperform. So when we're seeking to invest in these companies, one thing that we can observe is that price tends to fluctuate more than intrinsic value, which only moves much more slowly. And so when you find these occasional moments when there's a large discount or a large premium, you can invest to capture that discount. The question that I'm often asked is, what is it that causes the discounted price to return to its intrinsic value? And it's a question that Benjamin Graham got when he was, he was uh, appearing before a Senate committee in 1955. And the chairman said, how do you close that gap? Is it by advertising or, or what happens? And Graham gave one of his great answers where he said, it's a mystery. And it's a mystery to him as it is as much of a mystery to him as it is to everybody else. But we understand it to mean mean reversion. And so what this talk is about is what are the actual mechanics of mean reversion? What are the things that make mean reversion occur? So this is actually Graham's list. So he talks about in one, that's just general improvement in the industry. And this is a very uh, common occurrence that the industry's in a trough, the business is in a trough, it's got a period of bad luck, perhaps some bad management, and either the incumbent managers turn the company around or external managers are brought in, less commonly a sale or a merger or some sort of liquidation.